up, everybody? How we doing? Today, calves, four arms, okay? So for our calves, all we're gonna do, we're gonna pretend this is a step. If you want to, you can use your wall, whatever you want. And we've done this guy before. We're gonna start with our straight leg and then lean forward. So we're stretching out the top of the calf, the gastroc. We're gonna hold that guy for a while. While we're in that position, I want you to kind of do like a, an intended calf raise, but you're actually not gonna lift your body. It's just to engage the muscle. Hold that for five to 10 seconds. Let it relax and then sink a bit deeper in there. We're gonna cycle through that maybe four or five times, okay? That's just to get the top of the calf, that gas drop. Then we are going to sit back a little bit, bend the knee, and we're gonna let the stretch get into our soleus down here, okay? So we're gonna hold that guy, same drill. Press into the floor, hold for five, four, three, two, one, and relax, and then try and get a bit deeper. You need to actively pull your toe to your shin, and that's gonna help get a bit deeper stretch into that calf, okay? So we're gonna do one of those kind of cycles on each side. Whoopsie daisies, who put that there? I did, okay. So uh, after that, we're going to forearms. We've done this guy before. It's kind of our, our gold standard for stretching out the, the forearms. Nice big hands, and then just kind of leaning the body forward over top of the fingers. And then once you kind of get that stretch, start to feel it relax after about 45 seconds, you can kind of do that press of the fingers down into the floor. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then I want you to lift uh, and try and actively pull your fingers back to your forearms. I am doing it, believe it or not. It just doesn't move, okay? And then once you do that, then you can cycle back into that again. Same drill, find that big stretch again. Hold for 30 seconds this time. Press down the fingers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then step, come up and then try and pull those fingers back again. Same drill, okay? It'll feel like these guys are almost cramping up because they are working to try and pull harder in a new range of motion they're not used to doing, okay? There's the forearms. If you want to do the same thing in this position or in this position, you can kind of keep those same rules. When you're pushing into the floor for a, a small joint like the wrists, don't give 100% tension when you're pushing down, only go up to about 60% just so we don't kind of piss off any ligaments around them, okay? So there is our mobility. Now, let's go into some strength work. We've got a squat hold calf raise. You're gonna feel so ridiculous doing it, but it's going to work a different part of the calf. We do a lot of straight leg stuff when we're jumping, okay? That is going to be activating this guy, I think. Yes, okay? So from there, we're gonna go into your squat. If you wanna hold onto a door frame, that's fine. Let your heels sink down as much as you can, and then push up onto your tippy toes from that position. Okay, sit down, push up onto your tippy toes. Okay? We're going to do 20 of these, two zero, okay? You don't really need to load these. You're gonna feel a little bit silly doing them. It's okay, it's good for you, all right? Uh, next move is going to be bent over fly. So you're not gonna need a lot of weight Maybe like some soup cans, okay? This is essentially the T of the IYs and Ts, okay? So we're gonna go down into your bent over fly position or bent over row position and then squeezing back, okay? So as we're doing this, we're trying to get the shoulder blades to squeeze together and down, not squeeze together and up. We don't want elevation, we want retract retraction, okay? So if you feel like you're like, oh man, my traps are just so jacked up after those, the weight was way too heavy, right Chris? Good, okay, so from there, well that's 15, sorry, 15 reps, and we're just gonna do uh, three, three sets through A1 and A2, okay? Into some conditioning. Two 10 minute AMRAPs. AMRAP one is going to be 20 double unders or 30 single unders, okay? Five per arm dumbbell thrusters. I'm gonna use the manly weight this time, okay? So five thrusters, one, two, three, four, five, switch hands, and then one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then five static inchworms, okay? Walk yourself. Now, not just to here, 
let's try and get a little more range just so we get a bit more core engagement. But as you go out, don't let your butt drop. Try and keep that hollow position and then walk yourself back in, squeeze the butt stand, and then back out. Okay? Five of those. You're going 10 minutes through those three exercises as fast as you can. Okay? Once you're done the 10 minutes, three minutes to rest, and then we go into a different 10 minute AMRAP. It's going to be 50 reverse single unders. All right, good luck with the choreography. 10 dumbbell push press. One, two, three, good. And then 10 reverse burpees. Okay, that's down, back, forward and stand, okay? 10 minutes of those. Go do it. What are you waiting for? Turn the computer off, put your phone down. Get working out. Cheese whiz. All right guys, take it easy, bye-bye.